Uh, so this one's coming out. We just sheeted all the floor off. Well, it's a first I've never seen before. Real plumbing going on. Oh, look, the plaster's going on and everything. Oh, yes. Oh, right, so Monday morning, I've uh, got another ensuite to do for someone. Uh, so this one's coming out, we just sheeted all the floor off. Um, and this one's coming out. Tweaking the room around a little bit and um, getting it all back in. We've got to move this wall. You can just sort of see it here. This wall's coming out in line with that, just to uh, gain a little bit more room inside the uh, the shower area. So we'll get this get this ripped out and begin the process of refurbing this one. So this shower's coming out. We're gonna take that reveal back slightly, so get a bigger shower. I don't know why it's been built up that high. Hopefully we can get it sunk down. There's usually a reason why they've done that. We'll have to have a look. Get that out. They're having just a solid screen in with a flipper, shower inside, rail, um, rainfall head. Uh, having a standalone toilet and system there. Nice little unit there for the sink. And again, this, this boxing can come out because it's, I think it's just, well, it would just be feeding this saw pipe, but what we'll do, we'll take that low, which gives the, the customer more room here. And we're switching the toilet over to there. And the towel rail on here. So we've got the, the shower out and got the boards off the shower because we're going to move this back. I'm just going to completely reboard all that in moisture boards, um, ready for tiling. So we've got that out. We'll just clean this up now, hoover it up, keep it nice and tidy, get the tray out, cap the pipes off and get the rest of these tiles off, get the rest of the suite out. We can start first fixing. Well, it's a first I've never seen before. Hot and colds in 10 mil push fit. Some of these builders who build these new houses, shocking. See, you'll always come across a little bit of a problem. So we assumed the saw pipe run down there which obviously the vent goes up here. So we was gonna take this out and just leave this boxing down in the corner. However, if you look at the side profile of it, the source that comes in there, 45 is back. So we was gonna lose all of this because we've got to switch this round because the toilet's going on this wall. So we're gonna to have to cut it, turn that round, but off here, we're gonna to have to just build a little sort of elbow height boxing like elbow when you sat on the on the loo you rest your arm on it and uh just put that little bit of box in there and then follow it up so it's going to come up off there across and then up it's a bit of a pain because i wanted it all completely low level just because the client's losing all of that so it's all that's going to come out right we're just starting to take the walls out internally now so all the shower and that's out. So just starting to strip this wall out. 
Check that out there, because it's going to come off that box in, so they're going to gain that amount. Little niche inside the shower, put your shower bottles and whatnot. And then just off there, across, off there, across, they can have a bit of a thing to put the shampoo bottles in. So that'll be further in. So yeah, so it's we just got a moisture board in here. So that's a board there, probably two two boards across there and one across here. And then on the outside, reform that stud in, board it, skim it, and just patch up that ceiling internally. And then just a little bit of boxing over here for the soil stack. And then obviously board there and tile. So that's the rip out near enough done. Got everything tidied up, hoovered up and spoke to the chippy so he know, knows what to bring tomorrow to get this boarded out and i've made a list of what i need to alter the source stack get onto the hot and colds alter the heating pipes so we get a bit more progress done tomorrow but yeah it's looking good keep the bits of skirting that we took off so we can re-put it round here put it back round here when we uh Finish that. So this saw stack's got to come out or be cut out. We're going to cut it low level here. You might have to get a bit of the floor up. Cut it low level here. Glue a different branch on that's going to swing this way for the toilet that's going to come here. And then elbow off and up to the vent. So we're going to cut that out, get rid of that. Probably take that boxing off. Cut the pipe there, get a slip coupler on it. So we cut that out and we'll get that in there like that coming across for the toilet and then off the top into the vent. So the chippers have got the stud frame in, getting the plaster boards on now. I've had to get the floor up to get the, move the waste for the for the base and get the heating pipes in for the towel rail going on there. Um, I've altered the I've altered the saw pipe. We can start. We've got to set the valve in the wall over there and come round for the rainfall shower. Get some cables in for the for the lights upstairs. Real going on. Right, so we're just getting the valve in place. Always make sure that the valve is level before you bolt it right in. Then like this one at the minute. Too much. Trying to do it one-handed. Yeah, there we go. Always make sure the valve's level so when the when the shroud goes on it, it's perfect. So we'll come off here, we've got street elbows up, down to the to the shower head that's going up there, and then the body jet. But yeah, we'd like to put it in there so that you haven't got to get into the shower to turn it on. And then the chippy's just been making a little recess in the stud work. It's coming together nicely. Done the waste pipes, I'll show you in a bit. Done the saw pipe. So I quickly popped in this morning to, I've got to get the chrome tails out here for the towel rail. And I've got to connect the heat, these heating pipes. I've got to get these under the floor, connect the heating pipes onto there cap them off so they're live connect the hot and colds into there for the shower valve and uh, get an elbow down for the hand wash that's going to be here so what i've done here marked the rad to 500 so we're going to do 450 centers so one's going to come out here the other one will be off this line and out uh, bring them out in chrome it just looks neat going into the bottom of the towel rail
Then on chrome pipe, always put a compression cap because a push fit cap will just blow off because it just doesn't bond to the chrome. So for the sake of it, pop a compression cap on. It's right, Mark, isn't it? What's up, mate? Yeah, see? The YouTubers want to know. Right, so we're going to drop the top of the heat, well, we're going to drop the heating system out, or the top at least, just so I can get onto them heating pipes. So we shut this off, shut that side off, drain the rad down, and I'll just put my hose onto the end of here and drain out what we need, and then just refit it afterwards and repressurize it once it's connected upstairs. So we've got the hose connected to that valve going outside. Good accident, <laughs> <laughs> right, so cut them valves off the end of there and hook them pipes back out the rear. So these are the two heating pipes. So what we'll do is connect onto them here, cut them off here, connect these on with reducers, and then that will feed this towel rail that's going here. So we've dropped the system out, cut it open, and we just put the reducers on and the elbows on there. Got a filling loop here, just open it up, open, open, repressurize it. Right, so we've got the shower valve there, hot and cold's coming round, so a connected one, we'll just bang an elbow on here, um, and then get it filled back up, tested before the boards go on. Back of the job. Oh look, the plaster's going on and everything. Oh yes. Ooh, looking good, looking good. Hey, 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 hey. Hey. Right, we just got back on this job then. We'll get the shower tray in. Um, it's going this end, because we've got the double trimmer over there, so there's no way of getting it over there. So we'll get it in here. Put it in here, flex it off the bottom into the soil, into the waste pipe, get this floor patched up, sealed in, get the elbow on on the wall here, and then seal the tray in. Hectic old day. So we check with the client and they want this elbow coming out. Just there. So we'll fix it, batten it, and then connect it into this pipe. Um, and that's for the hand wash for the shower. So we get that in and then we can get the shower tray in. So there you go, test fitted it, put that in, marked up where the waste is, got the waste, as you can see underneath the floor. So, we just make sure it's all level. Before we bed it down. Right, so that's the tray in. So what we'll do now, we'll silicon all the way around the outside, bed it all in, and, uh, and it's ready for tidying tomorrow. All right, so there we go. Tray sealed in. Um, I always bang a load in. I've had, had people saying, you use too much silicon. For the sake of it, I just put a load of silicon in it, put it in, because we're gonna silicon it again anyway, when the tiles go down. So this is like the first one, seal it all in, and then we'll re-silicon it neatly when the tiles are on. Right, so we're back on we're back on this job here when the toilets are finished. And they've done a cracking job to be fair. I like that floor. It's nice. So half tidying it, so the client's gonna paint this top half. Down lights are still got going to the ceiling. We've got the shower body, heads, body jets. A little niche in there for your shampoo and stuff. Yeah, looks good. So we'll start getting the screen on, shower on. Start getting it back in now. Right, so fitting the finishing plate on the front of the shower valve. Always put around the back a bead of silicon all the way around the back so that when it goes on, it's a complete seal all the way around. So we'll get the bead of silicon around it now and get it pushed into place. Once it's in, that's that fitted on. 
Right, so it's always key when you're fitting something like this to measure it all before. Because if you look, it's got a plate on the top. Sorry, I'm trying to hold a screw in my mouth. It's got a plate on the top, and I had to measure it to be able to get the screwdriver in to do them up with. You know, another inch higher, and you just struggle to get these done up. So it's always pretty key to measure everything up first before you fit it. Alright, so that's the, the shower in. That in. So now we're starting on the shower screen. I don't know if I've mentioned to you before, but I bloody hate shower screens. Bead of silicon down the profile and a bead of silicon across the bottom here. And then we can seal the tray in once this is in and wiped down. And then for this, it's not fitted at the moment, I'm just offering it in for the customer to see what they're getting. That's the unit we're getting. So I've got the toilet to go in there and we'll box around. When the toilet's in, we'll then box around that. We'll get tomorrow our central eyes between there and get that and that set properly. But yeah, it's just pushed in for the moment. Right, so we're back today and we're going to be fitting the toilet and the vanity unit and sink and possibly getting the towel out on the wall. So we've just gone through with the client, we're exactly where they want it. So we'll uh, start the fitting of that. Right, so when measuring for, to fit the toilet, put the toilet in place and mark either side of it like so, and then the centers for where the holes are. But don't forget to measure the depth of that, because this has got to sit the depth of that away. So this is the outside of the toilet. So that's gonna sit roughly around there. So that's the, the gap underneath. So when they're bolted down, and you'll screw through there into the side. Yeah, third fix underway. Shower, tested the shower, shower's working fine. Just in the middle of fitting the basin, the toilet, the toilers, boxing around there. So we cover all that in. Top it, top it. Come on, the Right, don't go anywhere. There's a little video coming in a second of that bathroom completely finished. Um, clients chuffed to blitz with it, really happy with it. Um, you've just gained a lot more in that room, the way we we fitted it uh, before it was a little bit sort of pokey. But uh, yeah, have a look in a minute and I'll put stick the video up. So hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, comment below um, anything you want to know, ask. No dickhead comments, as per usual. There will be some, there always is. Um, and I'll see you on the next one. Laters.
Thank <laughs> you.